when Leon Marchand of Arizona State University in the country of France <laughs> simultaneously, but in this context, Arizona State University went absolutely nuclear at this past season's NCAA is going 328 in the 400 IM. We got really excited, and I think, or at least I thought, we jumped to conclusions about what this guy was capable of doing in the long course pool. A lot of people, including me, started very quickly talking about the number 359. And I'm not talking about the Olympic trials cut and the men's 400 freestyle from the year 2012, but we are talking about whether or not it's possible that we could see Leon Marchand go 359.99 or better in the 400 IM long course. Now I come on here oftentimes ready to give you my opinion on topics and sometimes I think they're solid, but other times they're just luckily wrapped up in comedy and fun editing like this. I have to wrap this up and package it in fun editing and comedy so that I can get away with not knowing how on earth someone could possibly go 359.99 in a 400 IM. I do not know how to do that math. I tried it. I tried to do that math earlier this year when we were all talking about it and quite literally decided that I was being ridiculous and gave myself a perspective check. I came back down to earth and told myself that the focus should be on whether or not Leon can go 403.83 in the 400 IM and take out one of the world records that we for a long time decided was well, one of the fastest world records on the record books. Well, then he went on to go 402.50, as a lot of you likely know by now. 402.50 shattered that Michael Phelps 400 IM world record from 2008. But I think we all kind of realized that a sub four minute 400 IM is just not psych. Michael Phelps, yeah, the greatest swimmer of all time who says Katie Ledecky is the greatest swimmer of all time, making the greatest swimmer of all time debate very confusing and potentially never ending. Yeah, that guy, the guy that's probably most qualified, maybe second to Bob Bowman or third to Leon Marchand now to give an opinion and a perspective on whether or not someone could go sub four minutes in the 400 IM. Yeah, that guy, he said it. Play the clip. You know, I, I believe he's somebody that could, could break four minutes in that race. That's something that I had talked about with Bob a long time ago, and he's got a chance. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see what he does next year. My favorite part of this clip is that we get a great still frame of Rowdy Gaines at the end of it, looking over at Michael Phelps, trying to process if what he said is actually what he just said. And this wasn't just a slip of the tongue. I actually had to re-record and re-edit this video because Phelps doubled down the next day and actually gave perspective on where he thinks Leon could go faster if he wants to start to creep down towards that four minute barrier and potentially go 359.99 or better in a 400 IM long course. I'll play the audio from that over top of me just meandering around because it's over race footage from an NBC video and I don't want to get hit with a reused content strike and get demonetized again by this beautiful platform that I definitely do not have any animosity towards for re or demonetizing me previously. So I'm going to meander around. I'm going to play with a pen or maybe drink some water. If you want to close your eyes and pretend that I'm not here, go for it. But if you just want to watch me meander around while Michael Phelps talks about Leon Marchand going sub minute in the forward sub four minutes in the 400 I am then do that as well here we go I'd say if he, if he wants to break four minutes in the 400 I am he's got to get his backstroke to about a minute and he's got to finish in 55 uh, which is doable there you go there's the perspective from the goat and this is going to be a short one because I don't know how to break down these splits for a race like this and I, I mentioned that at the beginning of the video I will say them out loud I will say the splits out loud that Leon went in his 402.50 400 I am where he was 54.66 on the butterfly leg 101.98 on the backstroke, 107.64 on the breaststroke, 58.22 on the freestyle. And for some reason, I am talking as if there is a fifth split that I should bring up, but there is not. The total is 402.50. And further than that, I don't really know what to tell y'all. Maybe you could come home a little faster. He was 58.22 on the freestyle, which is quick, but it's not 56.79 like Michael Phelps came home in his 403.84 former <laughs> weird former world record, which that is an incredible last hundred. 101.98 on the backstroke leg is flying, but it's not a 101.57, which is what Michael Phelps split on that 403.84 former world record swim. Still a weird thing to say. 107.64 on the breaststroke is an incredible breaststroke split, but he was actually faster last year when he went 107.28. But maybe he just... <laughs> just takes a couple tenths of a second off of each hundred. I mean, he's already splitting 107 on the breaststroke leg. Could he go 106? I am unsure if that is possible because to my knowledge, no one has ever gone 106 in the 100 breaststroke in the middle of a 400 IM. So listen, my task for y'all, my mini game to keep y'all engaged with the sport in between sessions of the 2023 World Swimming Championships is to go down to the comment section and try to break down the ideal splits for Leon Marchand to go sub four minutes in the 400 IM long course. Nah, uh, uh, uh. don't do it by 50. We don't all want to go down there and be doing math and 
just having to bust out calculators to figure out what kind of splits you're putting together. If you want to really dial it down and go by 50, then you can, but you have to put the 100 splits. Otherwise, it will not be responding to your comment. And I will just skip by it and, and not try to do the math because I am at my capacity for doing math due to all of the numbers flying at me off of my computer during the 2023 World Swimming Championships. So go down there and put your ideal splits for Leon Marchand sub four minute 400 IM. Go comment on someone else's splits. You can break down whether or not you think they're right or they're wrong. Let's just have some fun with it. Like the video while you're down there. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the comment section. Let's have some fun with it. Analyzing some hypothetical splits for a hypothetical time that would hypothetically make me lose my mind. What a rhyme that is to end the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.